Hello, today is going to be all about um, interlining. But what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've got my fabric on the table, and um, what I'm going to do is the lining is already made up, and so it is the interlining. So I don't need to show you how to sew those together. Just imagine it's just one bit. So I'm going to move forward from there on. So when the wind blows now, that's not going anywhere. Especially if it's a patio door. Here I am just slip stitching the sides all the way down. This I will do on both sides. As you can see, at the top of the curtain where the buckram is, I am still hand hemming the edges as well. And this is still the same slip stitch. And I also can confirm, after a day or two days of doing both pairs, my wrist is now killing me. There we are, out it comes. So that is now the front, the top bit. And this is, by the way, this is pinch peaked curtains. So that's that bit done. Now all that section's done, now I've got to move it and do the rest of it. I'm just going to show you something. Can you see that crease in the fabric? Now, if that was bigger, I would have been in trouble, but that's nothing to complain about. But it's things like that that will make my curtain longer at the bottom if you don't iron this or keep stretching it. So, that would be. Of that. Those are the things you've got to watch out for. You have to forgive my my camera for keep switching off. My SD card keeps cutting out. Now you've seen what I did to the other side, so you don't really need to see me do it again on this side. So I will just get on with it, and you will, and that's basically it.
Right, that's it. I've finished the um, curtain to this point and that's all that you need to know at this point because this is a pinch pleat curtains and now I've just got to put the pinches back into the top of the curtain. So that's it. So both sides, everything's back to normal. The curtain's finished, too far as you're concerned. Um, and that's it. So that's how you interline a curtain whether it's pinch pleat pencil pleat goblets that's the way to do it enjoy this um i hope it's clear enough for you and thank you for watching once again by the way do you realize now that i am now over four million viewers i'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching my videos whether good comments or bad comments thank you very much i appreciate all that you try to say and what i'm trying to do for you um and also for those who have subscribed as well i have over ten thousand, i think it is so thank you for sticking with me so please subscribe to any one of my videos that you see and watch the lot i have 300 and i think two videos now and i will increase thank you So there it is, into line pinch pleat curtains. Well, these are two tucks. Yeah, so that's now finished. All it needs now is a good old press. You're only seeing one side because my customer picked up the other side as soon as I finished it. So now she's coming for this side. If you would like me to make your curtains for you and you feel that you are a million miles away from me, there is still no problem. All you have to do is email me your details, your measurements, and then you send me your main fabric and I will supply your lining or your interlining, no problem. You pay for that, of course, and I will ship it right back to you. All ready for the next one.